What's going on everybody? It's the hand for game. Hope you're a fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to be ranking the top five middle, left, and right outside linebackers. And also, I'm going to be ranking the top five fullbacks. But please like, subscribe, comment, and put notifications on if you're new. Because I do try to upload three Madden videos every single day to, you know, my normal two Madden videos. And I'm going to try to upload a bonus video, which is like gameplay videos every single day. Like, I'm going to start off today by doing a QB slide. The video might already be out. I'm not sure which video I'm going to be uploading first, but the video might already be out. But I'm going to be uploading a QB slide, how to QB slide. So I'll be doing gameplay tips, tips like that. Like, you know, ball cure moves, best playbooks to run, and, you know, that those kind of tips as, like, a third and a bonus video. So, yeah, I'll be trying to upload three videos a day. Anyways, let's get to the rankings. The first thing we're going to do is middle linebackers. All right, so I have to put Luke Cooley number five. I love his stats and it pains me to put him this low, but there is just so many good middle linebackers right now. This was a hard list for me to make, but coming in number five is Luke Kuechly. Also remember this is my personal rankings. I'm just going by what I've heard on the internet and what the stats say. I've never played with this Luke Kuechly card before, so he might be playing a lot better than what his stats actually are. But 89 speed, 92 acceleration, 85 strength, 96 tackling, 98 play rush, 89 block shed, 94, zone, 94 hit power, 83 zone coverage. He's a really good middle linebacker. All, the, my whole ranking of the middle linebacker is like by a smidge. There, nobody has like a big advantage on somebody. So my rankings are gonna be, you know, like this was probably the hardest rankings for me to make. So yeah. Luke Kuechly comes in number five just because there's better middle linebackers than he's still really good one of the best middle linebackers in the game so he's definitely not a bad middle linebacker to pick up if and especially for running a Panthers team team but anyways he comes in at number five all right so at number four is Patrick Willis the reason he comes in number four is because he will be getting an ultimate legend card soon right so he will get plus let's say plus two to speed and acceleration he'll have 93 speed 93 acceleration probably the best middle linebacker in the game and then let's say he gets plus three to everything else 92 strength 92 six or 96 tackling 96 play rec 97 hit power 93 block shedding 82 zone coverage he's gonna be a beast so that's why i'm putting him in number four because it's, it'll be an investment for when he gets an ultimate legend card and he's still a really solid middle linebacker right now i have him as my middle linebacker number two and i can't wait until he gets an ultimate legend card i'm guessing he gets an ultimate legend card i would be very disappointed if he didn't because he's a 96 overall so i'm really hoping he gets an ultimate legend card soon all right so coming at number three is ray lewis now ray lewis is a good middle linebacker the only thing that keeps him this low is his zone coverage that's literally the only thing 91 speed 91 flourish and 91 strength 93 block shedding 97 tackle 97 10 power 97 play rush he's a really solid middle linebacker i love i love the ray lewis cards i haven't uh, gotten him yet but He's really solid when I've played with him in the other Madden games, and I just love his cards. His cards are amazing, and it pains me to put him at number three, but there's just on the, there's just more middle linebackers that are just better than Ray Lewis. You, you guys know what I'm saying? These rankings are really hard to make, but Ray Lewis comes in at number three. All right, so at number two is Brian Erlacher, and you know you guys know how big I am on balance and he's probably the most balanced middle linebacker in the game. 90 speed, 90 acceleration, 87 strength. Not a single stat below 87. He has 95 tackling, 91 hit power, 94 play rank, 89 block shedding. He's an insane card. Literally insane. He's amazing. 90 jumping, 78 step on, not that that matters. 88 impact, impact blocking, 94 play rank, 94 pursuit. I was close to picking this man up, but I don't know. He's, he's really good. He's amazing. So he's definitely not a bad middle linebacker to, keep, to pick up. So he comes in number two because of his balance stats and because he's six foot four. All right. So coming in at number one is Ryan Shazier. And the reason I put him at number one is because he is only one card away from his 99 overall, which will become with the future program, which could be this Easter promo coming up or the draft promo and he will probably be getting the final upgrade token and you look at his stats as a 99 overall he has 95 speed 95 acceleration you guys could come that up even if you guys have you know a mini Steelers steam team you guys could come that up to 99 speed to 99 acceleration he could have 99 agility if with a bunch of chemistry but it's gonna be kind of hard to get him to 99 agility that's like a full Steelers steam team right there but I love his strength, love his awareness, love his speed and excel, and his agility. I really feel like Ryan Chase here is the best middle linebacker in the game. 96 jumping, 94 impact blocking, 85 shed, 96 recognition, 79 coverage, 97 stamina. His his stats are amazing. So he comes in at number one because he will he will probably get the 99 overall. 
probably this Easter or draft promo and at the latest probably positional heroes. That's the latest I could see him getting this token but he's only one token away from these stats. So Ryan Chaser comes in at number one. Alright so the next rankings we're going to be, be doing is right at Todd Linebackers. And I didn't realize how a few right outside linebackers they were, but coming in number 5 is Preston Smith. The reason he's number 5 is because I just like how, how balanced he is. He has 85 strength, or 85 speed, 92 acceleration, 90 play rec, 90 tackling, 94 power moves, 82 block shit, 84 strength, and he can also be a user card. I, I, I like people that can pass rush and he can be usered. So like, if you don't want him to pass rush, he had, he's 6 foot 5 and he's 85 speed with 92 acceleration. Let's look at his jumping, how much jumping does he have? He has 86 jumping, which is okay, I guess. But yeah, the reason comes to number five is because he can do, you know, he can use it or he can, he can cover and he can pass rush. So that's why he comes in at number five. All right, so coming at number four is Joey Porter, and he's pretty much the same thing, but with a little bit better stats: 92 tackling, 92 power moves, 85 finesse moves, 89 block shooting, 90 strength, 87 speed, 88 acceleration. And what I like about him so much is that he can cover. He can cover and he can pass rush at the same time. So let's see what his coverage is. 50, all right, so he doesn't have very good coverage. But so he's pretty much purely a pass rusher, but he has pretty good power moves, decent block shed, and a pretty good uh, speed and acceleration. So yeah, he's definitely not a bad right outside linebacker, and that's why I'm putting him number four, because he also has no stat below 85. So Joey Porter comes in at number four. All right, so coming in at number three is Chandler Jones. Now Chandler Jones is a really balanced right outside linebacker, which is why he's coming in number three. 82 speed, 89 acceleration. He has pretty decent finesse and, uh, well, his finesse moves isn't that good, but his power moves is really high. But he is purely a pass rusher. He has no zone coverage or man coverage from what I recall, and he does not. So he is purely a pass rusher, but I'm a big fan of pass rushers in this game. But he is just, he's really good. He's probably definitely top three or two of the best pass rushing right outside linebackers in the game. So that's why he comes in at number three. All right, so coming number two is Fred Warner. The reason he comes in number two is because he's an amazing coverage linebacker. He kind of reminds me of the Gauntlet 3 master, Keith Bullock, but he has 90 or he has 89 speed, 94 acceleration, 94 tackling. He's once again, he's purely coverage linebacker. He does not have any pass rushing, but he's six foot three with 96 jumping. Yes, he, he can jump that high and he's six foot three. So he's an insane coverage linebacker, 86 on coverage, 79 man coverage, 96 stamina, which means he can stay on the field for a while, with 95 hit power. This card is absolutely insane as a coverage linebacker, but as you guys know, I'm not a big fan of coverage linebackers, but he, his stats of a coverage linebacker are just so insane, I had to put him at number two. So yeah, I've never played with this card before, but what I've heard, and from the stats, what I've seen, is that he is an amazing coverage linebacker, so yeah. He comes in at number two. And you all know who's number one. Lawrence Taylor, yes, I know he's only a 94 overall, but I still feel like he has better stats than any of the right outside linebackers out there. Just look at the stats they give him. They did not give him a single stat below 87, plus he is bound to get an ultimate legend card soon. No other right outside linebacker has a, you know, has no stat below 87. Lawrence Taylor has the only, you know, non-stat in the main, you know, these are the main stats below 87. He, he does not have one below 87. So which is why he comes in number one and he will be getting an ultimate legend card soon. Probably a 98 or even 99 overall. Last year got a 98 overall card. Plus this guy comes with uh, abilities where if you put an ability on him, like the NFL 100, I forgot what his NFL 100 ability is, but if you put that ability on him, he will be uh, starting with that X Factor. So he will be starting with that X Factor unless you give up 10 yards. So yes, once Taylor will be starting with an X Factor on him with 91 finesse moves, 92 power moves, 90 block shot, and 89 strength. I believe the best right outside linebacker in the game. So those are my right outside linebackers rankings. Tell me what you guys think of those rankings and tell me what you guys think of or what your rankings would be, who you would switch with who. But yes, once Taylor comes in at number one. Now to the left outside linebackers. Alright, so coming in number 5 is TJ Watt. A lot of you guys might disagree with me on this, but I do like TJ Watt a lot. Once again, these are really tight rankings. So TJ Watt comes in at a close number 5, and yeah, he has 98 finesse moves, 90 block shedding, 95 pursuit, 96 play recognition. So he doesn't have 
much zone coverage and man coverage so he's once again purely a pass rusher but he can cover so he's definitely a really solid right, right outside linebacker six foot four 86 speed 91 flourish and those are really balanced stats and i'm a huge fan of balance stats but out of all the right outside linebackers to, linebackers to choose from i feel like he is number five but he is still a really solid or why, why do I keep saying right outside? I mean left outside linebacker. He's still a really solid left outside linebacker, so he comes in at number five. So number four is Jerome Baker, just because he is the best coverage left outside linebacker in the game, I feel like. 92 speed, 92 acceleration, 97 tackling, 90 block shit, 94 cleric. Once again, no power or finesse moves, but he is definitely the best coverage linebacker in the game. He has 90 jumping, which I wish the jumping was a lot higher, but that speed though, if you power him up with John Madden and Sprinter, that's you could get that speed to a 96 speed and 95 XL. You can well 96 XL if you have the new physical chemistry. And yeah, he his stats are insane. He also has really high block shed, high pursuit. So he is definitely the best coverage left outside linebacker personally in the game. So yeah, he comes in at number four. So coming in at number three is Mr. Kevin Green. Now the top three can be in or any order you you want. There is really no order for the top three, but yeah, Kevin Green comes in number three and you can argue he's even number one, but I just love his stats. 89 speed, 91 acceleration, 93 strength, 91 tackling, 93 player rush, 98 finesse moves, 94 power moves, 86 block shed. Once again, you guys know I'm a big fan of balanced uh, cards and he is one of the most balanced cards in the game. Besides the 86 block shed and the 89 speed, he does not have a single stat below 91. Like his stats are absolutely insane. Like his his stats are really high overall. He is probably like he he is insane. So you guys can order the top three left outside linebackers, and most of you guys already know who I'm gonna pick as my next two. But you guys can order these from any rankings you want. The next three are gonna be like you know, or the next this one and the next two will be in no not really in an order. But yeah, I don't know. It just feels like that these these cards are all really insane. You'd be, you'd be, you know, happy with any of these cards on your team. So Kevin Green comes in at number three, and he's probably one of the best left outside linebackers in the game. All right, so we're gonna do number two and number one in the same clip because just how similar they are. And Von Miller is gonna be number two, and Clue Mac gonna be number one. And this, I actually started with Von Miller, but then I switched to Clue Mac because here I'll show you if the EA servers will load up and it will actually compare their stats. There we go. So just take one off of everything Clumax since Clumax powered up. Just take one just take one stat off of Clumac. So Clumac, they'd be tied in speed, tied in acceleration. The reason why I switched Clumac was because of the strength. You take one strength off Clumac, they have five strength difference. That was the only thing that made me change from Von Miller to Clumac. And that's the only reason that that makes me put Von Miller number two. And yeah, so Von Miller would beat him in tackling, beat him in play rec. They would tie in block shed, tie in power moves, and Cleo Mac would beat him in finesse moves. So yeah, these cards are extremely similar. This is why they're number two and one, but if I had to choose one, I would definitely choose Cleo Mac because of the strength and the finesse moves difference. Even though it's not huge, there's still a difference. Von Miller would be plus two in agility though. They would be tied in speed. Actually, yeah, they would be tied in speed and acceleration, Von Miller would have higher awareness, and yeah, I do feel like that Cleo Mac is the better card, Von Miller would have higher tackling, but they are still really similar, Cleo Mac has plus 11 jumping, so yeah, these cards are extremely similar, but they're both number 2 and number 1, but those are my left outside linebacker rankings, anyways, on to the fullbacks. Alright, so coming in number 5 is a 92 overall, James Devlin, and yes, these rankings might not be entirely accurate, just because I might not look through all the fullbacks because fullbacks aren't that important. All you really need to know is the top three. So for number five and number four, it might not be accurate. But for number five, the reason why I chose James Evelyn because I really like the stats. Still, he's 93 impact blocking, 97 lead block, and this is the lowest overall I had to put in a top five just because how few fullbacks there are. He has 93 impact blocking, 97 lead block, 95 awareness. I would have put him higher, but he just doesn't have that much speed. And I like his strength, so if you guys are looking for probably a pass blocker, I would say. He's a good pass blocker. He's not really good kind of toss and stretch kind of guy just because he's 
probably won't be fast enough to go out there and block but he still has really high lead block high impact blocking and decent strength and high awareness so he comes in at number five all right so coming in number four is patrick ricard he is actually a really solid fullback 75 speed 95 impact blocking 98 lead block 94 strength 95 awareness once again the thing that puts him down this far is the speed i don't like the speed his run blocking is really good but anything besides the speed is um really good but i don't know i just feel like you're gonna need speed on a fullback because if you're running a toss a stretch or even a halfback dive you're gonna need the fullback to have a lot of speed to go out there and block the linebackers that are trying to coming at you so patrick Hart doesn't have that much deep speed but he has really solid everything else so that's why he comes at number four so yeah Patrick Card comes in number four. Let's go to number three. All right, so coming in number three is Kyle Juszczyk. He has 84 speed, 82 strength, 95 awareness, 88 carrying, 82 catching, 83 impact blocking, 97 lead block, and 80 run blocking. Once again, he's a really balanced fullback, and he's faster than, you know, the fullbacks that I showed you previously. So that's why he's number three. I love how balanced he is, and I love that he is decently fast. So he's definitely not a bad fullback to have. He's the cheapest out of the top three fullbacks I'm going to be showing you guys. So yeah, he's really solid and he can actually get out there and block the linebacker so Kyle Yushchuk is definitely not a bad fullback to have 86 juke move 83 spin move 90 stiff arm so you can even be a fullback diver too any of these fullbacks can be a fullback diver but yeah Kyle Yushchuk comes in at number three because of his speed and because he's a balanced fullback all right so coming in number two is Franco Harris when I found funny is that the limited edition is that going for cheaper than the series redux but Franco Harris comes in number two because he has 91 speed which is one of the fastest fullbacks in the game well there's not that many fullbacks in the game so he's number two when it comes to speed and the fastest fullback will be my number one a lot of you guys probably already know who my number one fullback is but he's 91 speed 87 strength 96 96 carrying 84 lead block 86 impact blocking 95 awareness 75 run block and yes he doesn't have great lead block and impact blocking but it's the speed i am huge on speed nine that seven speed difference is going to lead huge because even if he just goes out there and nudge somebody even if he just nudges a linebacker it's going to make that much of a difference it's better for you know one fullback to nudge three guys than one fullback to completely block one guy you know what i'm saying so yeah i would rather have one i would rather have franco harris you know barely barely pushing but at least affecting four people then how you check just you know affecting one person so that's why i have franco harris my number two so let's go to my number one all right so my number one is the only 98 overall fullback in the game which is christian okoye and the reason i have christian okoye is just the stats speak for themselves like that 98 impact blocking 94 lead block 91 block 94 awareness 93 street speed 95 strength 97 carrying he has really high speed and explosion and he has a really good catching set he is the best fullback in the game if you guys are looking for a god squad pick up krishna koi don't do not buy his limited edition i'm not sure how they're going to handle ltds at, because that was the last series update so i'm not sure how they're going to handle ltds going forward but just power them up all the way to like you know 96 overall i'm pretty sure you can power them up to a 96 overall because you guys don't need the ltd version for that but don't don't if you guys make him do anything use your power up pass on him still i still don't recommend you use your power up pass on a fullback but still his stats are amazing you can get almost all of those stats or all you can get uh some of those stats to a 99 and a lot of those stats to 95 plus because you can get that with that powered up 94 speed you can with john madden 97 speed so you can have 97 speed fullback with 99 impact blocking about 97 or 8 lead block 93 run block he would be amazing but i just hate that he's an ltd but he is definitely the best fullback in the game anyway those are my fullback rankings and those are my linebackers slash fullback rankings if you guys have enjoyed this video please do like subscribe comment and put in the description also tell me what you guys would switch out with who and what you guys think of the ranking remember this is my personal ranking so please don't take any offense to it some of the cards i've never played with before so i'm just going by you know what i've heard on the internet and what the stats say but please do like subscribe comment and put in the description if you're new because i do try to upload three man videos every single day thanks for watching i'm the hand for gamer and i'll see you guys next time uh, remember that God's heart my soul stays and to love your neighbors as yourself. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! And I just said that twice. But thanks for watching. <laughs>